and here we are a little box that weighs 810 grams a little Mavic Mini so we're about to uh, have a bit of a look at it and uh, I'll open the box in a second and there's the all important information right there we have FCC uh, version available in Australia so it's not the CE version so we we have the actual uh, extended range so before I open it we'll have a bit of a quick look around it as usual the all-important 249 gram a bit of information there it's got uh, quite a bit on the bottom in small print you probably can't read any of that so we'll get out my trusty pocket knife and uh, we'll break the seal I'm not certain where yet so looks like there so that'll do and uh, how do we get in here what is what here okay hmm is that tape there's a bit of tape over there, okay. And definitely making certain that you're not going to uh, accidentally open the box. And there we are, we've got little protectors on the top there to keep it in place. That's the controller, the all-important quadcopter itself, what have we got in here, okay some cables it looks like, oh quite a few little bits and pieces and instructions and again Oh, lots of little instruction manuals, heaps of them. Okay, and I'll just put all this aside for the moment and we'll just test the all-important weight. And we'll see what this comes in at, see if they're telling the truth. Mm-hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? That says 253. So, hmm, fascinating. And uh, so straight out of the box, it's uh, weighing more than what it uh, says, but we have a gimbal cover, we have bits of tape all over it, protection, so we will have to take all of that off and then check it again. And... Uh, we have to remove the little protective tabs that we've got on there. There's one, two, three, four, it looks like five. And uh, we we'll take off the gimbal cover and then we'll reweigh the little Mavic Mini and see what it comes in at. Now I've taken off all the stickers and I've taken off the gimbal cover. We'll pop it on the scales again. And we have 248 gram. I'm happy with that, no problems. And there's a little 32 gigabyte SD card. We'll pop that on top. And as you can see, it hardly makes any difference whatsoever. So we're definitely under the 250 gram mark. DJI have definitely done well on this one. And uh, out of curiosity, we'll throw the controller on and see what it comes in at. So 200, well, 245 grams. So that means a combined weight of your quadcopter and controller is less than 500 grams so if you've got that in your backpack you're definitely not going to be straining carrying it and these are all the bits that came in the box itself we have the quadcopter the remote control a couple of little screw on bits for the thumb controllers in there propeller blades spare ones that is various connectors for the mobile phones and uh, pads that are available screwdriver itself and uh, some bits and pieces over here for paperwork and a USB charging plug I've just popped the USB plug in 
and as you can see we're currently charging I've just put the uh, controller on charge and as you can see it's charging away there nicely we'll just press the go fly and it's now telling us we need to do an update and we're going to install it and as you can see it's happily installing at the moment so we'll let it do its uh, job and we'll come back when it's finished still progressing along quite a lengthy process actually as you can see we're getting very close to the uh, finish now and we've got this wonderful little flashing light at the top and just as I finished uh, talking it's popped over there and we can uh, click on the OK so we're happy with that we're up to the new version happy with that as well OK and as you can see here the Mavic Mini uh, firmware update was successful we'll just connect the aircraft now and uh, searching and hopefully it'll find it and able to connect okay uh, uh, the reason it can't connect it turns itself off something to bear in mind okay let's uh, put it down again I didn't expect it to turn itself off but uh, obviously it did so do a pair As you can see and pairing is complete so we'll get on with the compass calibration press a little button there and uh, I don't have an SD card inserted because I'm only setting up at the moment let's kick click on calibrate if I can get it that is okay let's do a start rotate 360 horizontally Okay, now, why is it vertically? Oops, wrong side that way. Rotate, rotate vertically. Okay, and done. Pretty simple. Okay, no SD card, which is uh, not a problem. I'll insert that in a few seconds, and it looks like we're ready to fly. That was quick. If you like my videos, please click the subscribe button and then go to the bell and select all and you will be notified in the future of any new uploads that I put onto YouTube. Thank you.